Hey guys, today I am going to give you an update on how my investment versus S&P 500, my investment in stocks versus investment in Magic and Pokemon cards is going. I think it is, uh, yeah, the S&P 500, uh, yikes, um, yikes, yikes, yikes. Uh, yikes, uh, the S&P 500 is on a rampage, um, and I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon. I think it's going to continue to go up and up and even more up. And investing, again, investing in stocks is probably the way to go long term. It's up $9,000 in a day. I can't imagine Magic Cards ever going up that much in a day especially on buy list, no matter how much magic cards, even if you own $600,000 of magic cards, it's really hard for that stuff to be liquid, right? You're just hoping to not get absolutely demolished by the buy list. So in terms of investment, you know, alpha investment always, you know, pushing MetaZoo. You, you can't invest. MetaZoo is not an investment, okay? <laughs> now now I, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at myself. I have learned because I've been more careful about stocks and buying things and kind of looking into it, that there are investments like this, and then there are um, MetaZoo. MetaZoo is so far away from what you're seeing right now, which is basically S&P 500, uh, some random Chinese stock, I don't even know what they are, and some bonds. Uh, you know, the the you look at the little chart and you're just like oh holy shit that that's an investment that's what a chart should look like then you look like a meta zoo chart for nightfall or whatever it is not that it's slow growth let me let me one percent like you guys be by one percent that one percent is nothing for meta zoo right remember when alpha investment was selling nightfall for 820 dollars you know what a percent increase that is uh nightfall being what was it like 50 dollars for him or the forty dollars, like for it to go from forty dollars to eight hundred dollars for people to buy eight hundred dollars, that's a twenty x or two thousand dollar, two thousand percent increase overnight. That's not not happening, guys. It's just not correct. Um, so it, it, in any type of investment, you're, it's slow and steady. Sometimes you go up one percent, sometimes you go down one percent, sometimes you go up half a percent, sometimes you go down half a percent. But it's not this, oh, we just get quick rich. Everyone's quick. Everyone's rich now, right? And that was what MetaZoo was. And and you, you think about these other games he's involved in. Uh, don't they all have similar kind of ideas, right? Like Crypto Zoo and, and so on. They have similar ideas that, hey, you just buy in early and then suddenly you 20x your money overnight. But in reality, that's simply not um, the case. You know, it is simply not the case of, of uh, you know, even magic cards. They don't go up 20, 50% overnight because of a hype train and the one ring and all this crazy. Investments are slow, man. These things take time. They take years, decades even to really fully realize their value. And it's not, you know, it's not MetaZoo. So basically, I'm here to tell you that investments like MetaZoo, when you look at MetaZoo as an investment, it just does not look or feel the same way as the S&P 500 or any stock. I think I have ExxonMobil, ExxonMobil paying good dividends right now. But that's like steady. You know, I'm just happy when it goes up 1% or half a percent. And then, you know, sometimes it goes down a percent, a percent and a half, maybe sometimes even 2%. But it's not shifting 20,000% overnight, right? It doesn't go from $40 to $820 overnight. That is not an investment. That's a scam, guys. If something realistically in, you know, the time the alpha investment gets it for $40 a booster box, then he can sell it for $820 a booster box, Right? or what was it, $8,200 for five booster boxes, you know, the fact that the extra booster boxes cost you double what the, if you want to get one booster box, like it would never happen to a stock. Imagine a stock 
where buying one stock is $820, but buying five stocks is $8,200. Meaning if you were to buy more stock, you'd be paying double the initial price per one stock. Can you tell me any stock that's ever happened in the history of the Wall Street? I mean, Alpha Investments or Wall Street guy, can he tell me, can he name one stock that acts and behaved in this way in the whole history of Wall Street where the more you wanted to buy from the stock, the more you had to pay to the point that if you just wanted to buy five shares of the stock, you're paying 8200 8200 as opposed to one share of the stock, you're paying 820 Remember, I mean, this is what was happening. This is not an invest. MetaZoo is not an in It's not the S&P 500. It sure as hell isn't ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil would make me a shit ton of money, man. Like, this stuff is just so bizarre if you really think and put your head on it. Like, stocks do not act this way, right? Even Tesla, maybe it can go up 10%, but even even Tesla, which is a really, really um, meme meme stock in my opinion right um it doesn't act and behave in the same way that a meta zoo nightfall first edition does um it simply does not behave this way where, where, where every day it's like going up twenty two thousand percent a day like it still goes up ten percent falls five percent it's a little more volatile yes but it's not doubling in price every minute Right. So anyway, my point is, I kind of figured this out. Um, I haven't really been into stocks. This is my, this is not my 401k. This is my play account for my stocks. Ever since I couldn't go gambling because of COVID, I, I quit gambling. So I quit going to poker rooms and casinos. So this is where I put the money. It's kind of like gambling, but sometimes I forget about it and it just goes up. Like I have done pretty well in my stock picks and my and my stock picks are not genius. I don't know anything about stocks. I know very little and I'd care to know very little. I buy stocks with high dividends because I like dividends because then it's like extra cash for me to like buy stuff with. Buy mostly Weiss cards now at this point in time. Man, this is, I've been a really educating, you know, any of these MTG finance gurus, Pokemon investors, I... I want to see your actual investments. Like, do you guys actually have stocks and stuff? Or is this like a pump and dump? Because I, I, I have a feeling that like if these people actually had a similar amount of money in stocks, they wouldn't be like pumping and dumping like Scarlet and Violet Pokemon boxes. Or Magic uh, Carvel Manor. Remember Rudy said Carvel Manors to the moon? Like, I feel like if people actually had real stocks, legitimate stocks, and they could actually understand that they... It takes a long time for these mother effing things to grow. They would understand, oh, well, you know, how can I identify a scam? Well, if the guy pitching it to me is saying that it's going to 20x overnight, hmm, that doesn't seem like an investment opportunity to me. That's probably a scam because none of my stocks in the history of Wall Street have ever 20x overnight. Right? It's slow but steady and sometimes very painful gains. It's not get quick rich, guys. That's what I've learned from doing this stock thing. It goes up and down, up and down. But like, if you look at it long term, it kind of goes up. Anyway, hi, guys.